everybody welcome back to my channel my name is maggie today we're gonna be going over how to pack for a two-week trip on only one carry-on bag it's gonna be a challenge i haven't actually figured it out yet we're figuring it out together so i have to get all this stuff into that bag if I'm being honest with you guys, I have actually done something similar. I packed for a two month trip to France in only that bag and another backpack. So I think I can do two weeks in Australia. The benefit to going to a hot climate is that you only have to really pack summer stuff and that takes up way less room, so. As you can see, I've kind of like sectioned off all my stuff here. We have shoes over there, shirts, rompers, bathing suit cover-ups and dresses, workout clothes and um, PJs, pants and shorts, and then sweaters and jackets here. All right, and then of course, obviously we have the swimsuits here, hat, essential, two pairs of sunglasses, and this is the beauty and makeup stuff I'm gonna be bringing. All right, so first things first, I like to put the shoes in first. So I'm gonna put in my Birkenstocks and I'm actually, I think I'm gonna flip them upside down to squish them down a bit. Next, I'm gonna put these sneakers in. Um, a lot of people like to stuff socks and underwear in there to like make them more, you know, space efficient. And I think I'll probably do that. So now I have the heels. Um, I'm bringing one pair of heels just because just in case I do anything fancy. Um, just simple white strappy heels. I'm gonna put them, the problem is I don't want this heel to snap and this bag is gonna be packed, so. so this is what the shoe situation kinda looks like right now. I'll probably do a better job when I can get more stuff and make the shape of the bag stick out more. We're going to move on though to clothes and the trick to clothes is that you can't you can't let yourself have more than half a bag full of clothes because the shoes and the makeup and all that stuff, your hairbrush, whatever, is going to take up the other half for sure. So don't let yourself have more than one half bag of clothes and I've got all this to deal with so we're going to have to get creative here. For shirts, I have a bunch of crop tops, some white tops, this camo top, a couple body suits, an off the shoulder top. Yeah, and mostly crop tops and t-shirts just because it's super hot there. Luckily, this can all be really compacted. I probably have like 15 shirts here, which is excessive, but whatever. Here for workout stuff and uh, pajamas, I have a few Nike stuff. I have a couple bralettes. I have this swimsuit from um, Faye Swimwear. I have a Lulu sports bra, just a tank top that I can wear to sleep, some gym shorts, U of A tank, and then of course some Calvin Klein, and a couple more pairs of um, lounge shorts. I'm gonna start by trying to fit this in my bag. So this is what it looks like. It looks like it's taking up the whole space, but there's actually a whole bunch in the back here and there's a bunch in the top. So we can stuff a lot more in this section and then hopefully we still have this middle section to deal with. I'm gonna take my dressers and rompers and stuff and try and fit that on top of the shirts. Okay, that worked out really well. Remember how it looked like it was full before? Well, we've already fit so much more and I've still got room at the top here in this section. The key is you cannot waste a single bit of space. Moving on to pants, I have two pairs of jean shirt, shorts, one jean skirt, one pair of not, oh no, I have three pairs of jean shorts, I lied. One pair of not jean shorts and a pair of just like pants. They're not trousers, they're not jeans, they're just like fabric um, pants that are cuffed. And then I've got two pairs of jeans in there, just in case it does get cool. I'm gonna try and fit as much as I can on top of the clothes. All right, so this is how I did it. I fit most of the shorts and stuff up on top of the clothes, and then I wedged the pants in the middle here. I'll probably wear my sweatshirt on the plane, but this jacket cannot go on the plane. I mean, on me on the plane, so I'm gonna just try and stuff that maybe down the side. 
Suede's tough, right? Like, you don't need to take care of that. <laughs> okay, so for now I'm gonna put all my um, liquids in this bag. For the actual flight, I'll probably just transfer it into, I wanna go get a support, one of those Sephora travel bags. But for now, for the purpose of this, I'm gonna use this. So I have a travel brush set. I need to wash the brushes, but um, it has extra room in there. So what I do is I like to put in things like my mascara. I have my fake awake eyeliner, brow gel, liquid black liquid liner, and concealer all in there. So when I do that, I can like put the top on and it saves a lot of space. For foundation, I'm, expect to, I'm expecting to get a bit of a tan. So I'm gonna just pack the CC cream here if I want fuller coverage, and I'm gonna pack the uh, Tarte BB cream if I want less coverage, and both of these have SPF, so. My eyeshadow palette that I'm packing is the Tartlet in Bloom just because I feel like I can get the most use out of it. I've got everyday looks, but I've also got some good stuff for Christmas and New Year's Eve, so. So, no one's gonna be surprised here, but I'm just going with my Laura Mercier uh, Matte Radiance Powder for a highlight, and this uh, Hula Bron um, Geez, why do I keep saying hula? And this dandelion blush from Benefit. Bringing two primers. I'm bringing my favorite primer from the summer, which was the NARS um, Radiance Primer. And it has SPF 20 in it, I want to say. So that's super good. And it's super radiant. So I might even just wear this without makeup. And then, of course, my um, Smashbox uh, Primerizer. Actually, I think I'm just going to bring the NARS Radiance Primer. That makes sense to me. Why would I bring the other one? You have been purged. Kat Von D loose setting powder, agave bite lip balm. I am gonna bring this small, um, fresh cleanser, and then I'm gonna bring this travel size Laneige water bank moisturizer cream. Deodorant, which will be critical down in the sweaty, down under, I don't know. And last but not least, um, of course, my beauty blender. This Dangerous Woman hat is really quite like, it doesn't hold its shape very well, which is actually really good for traveling because, because it won't lose its shape in um, my bag. So. so this is what my bag looks like. I've got the jacket, clothes, jeans and pants are under there. My shoes, heels, all that are under this bar part. And then I've got my travel kit thing there. And then I've got this bag full of the rest of my uh, makeup and beauty supplies. Finally, bikini tops can go on top. And last but not least, this thing cannot be folded. It's my triangle bathing suit. So I'm just gonna sneak it on top of all the clothes. So I'll wear one pair of sunglasses on the plane, probably this one. And then this pair of sunglasses, I'm just gonna slip in this pocket along with my real glasses. Don't judge me, I got those in grade 11. Some headphones. Now, a lot of you might be thinking, like, what about my, you know, phone, charger, wallet, all that. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring a camera bag as my second carry-on piece, like, almost carry it like a purse. And then I am going to put my phone, wallet, camera, obviously, and charging cables in there. And then... I am going to slip my laptop right on top of everything, pack it all down, because when you go through security, you need to take out your laptop and you need to take out your um, liquids. So those always have to be at the top, no matter how inconvenient that is for you or your life. Anyway, this is the final product. I think we did pretty well. I'm not upset about this at all. Like, I am very impressed with myself. Um, I will be wearing another pair of sneakers on the plane, so I'm going to have a pair of casual sneakers there as well. And a pair of leggings on the plane, as well as a comfy shirt, sweatshirt, and that's about it. Thank you guys for joining me um, in my packing extravaganza. I feel like we did okay. I feel like we did a good job. Hopefully this offered you some tips and kind of some inspiration, I guess, to packing a bag Going someplace on only one carry-on is totally possible and actually makes your life so much easier because you don't have to wait for baggage and you're not carrying a million things around the airport. You're just carrying one sleek backpack. Really do, I'm not spo sponsored obviously, but I really recommend the North Face bag because it fits in every single carry-on thing. It fits under your, like the seat in front of you. So no matter what, you'll always be able to fit it on an airplane. I hope you enjoyed 
this tank extravaganza and i will see you next time thanks for joining and i hope to see you next time peace out